Hi everyone! With the latest version of DM Hub, we have an exciting new loadout system for managing the items your character is holding. And we can see we have this bare new character, and he has uh, some default options like being able to dash, being able to dodge, and being able to shove. Um, and currently he's not holding anything in his hands, he doesn't have anything equipped. I have set him up with some basic items in his inventory though, uh, which we can see here. And just like before, you can drag chainmail into his armor slot, and this gives him chainmail, which gives him a basic armor class. Now, what's new in this version is we have three what we call loadouts, and a loadout is basically the things that you can be holding in your hands. And we have, on the left side, we have your main hands, and this is for loadout 1, main hand, loadout 2, and loadout 3, and over here, this is your offhand. Uh, so if you're right-handed, this would be your, your left hand, basically. Um, and so this is uh, uh, loadout 1, loadout 2, loadout 3. So uh, we might say that our character is holding a sword and a shield, as that's, that's his sort of preferred thing to hold. Um, and so we put that in loadout 1. Uh, but then we might say, well, sometimes he needs to light the way. So sometimes he's going to, uh, to use a sword still in this hand, but instead of having a shield, he'll have a torch so that he can, uh, he can see things. And then he also has a crossbow, uh, and the crossbow, uh, DM Hub knows it's a two-handed weapon, so you put it in, it, it'll always end up in the, the main hand, whichever of these slots you put it in, and then it sort of shows you that this hand is also occupied by it. Uh, so we've shown that these are the three possibilities we want our characters to switch between. So when we, when we go back to the main display, we'll see down here it shows his loadouts, and they're numbered 1, 2, and 3. And we can click on them, or we can press the numbers uh, 1, 2, and 3, and we can see that when we clicked loadout 1, um, he's visually loaded up now with his sword and his shield. Uh, and we can see that we now have our longsword attack that we can we can execute on anybody, and this shows the, the range and everything. Um, and so we can press 0 at any time to go back to no loadout, and that's like... He's, he's not carrying anything, which pr probably that's what most of us do most of the time. Um, and we'll also see, interestingly, that once he takes out his shield, he's got 16 armor class, uh, when he takes out his shield, it automatically increases his armor class to 18. Uh, and we can say, okay, we need to we need to light the way. We can um, we can go to his torch, uh, and so now he has a sword and his torch. The armor class is back at sixteen, uh, and you can see that he's illuminating the area. This this room is already pretty well lit, um, so he probably wouldn't need to do that here, but in many environments he might. Uh, and then we can we can finally go to uh, number three. Um, and this brings out our crossbow. Uh, we can see that we have the heavy crossbow item. Um, it is grayed out because we're actually, we didn't give him any ammo, though DM Hub still lets you shoot the crossbow, even if you don't have any ammo, and you can work out that with your, your DM, but it is suggesting that you don't have the ammo. Uh, and so, as you can see, uh, this this kind of visually allows you to see what anybody's carrying at any given time. It also makes the rules much clearer about, uh, like, how can you light something if, you, if you're not using a hand to do it. Uh, and also make sure that we adjudicate the rules correctly, that if you've started to shoot people with a crossbow, you probably shouldn't get the armor class bonus for having a shield, which is a pretty sort of annoying thing if you have to figure it out on your own. So it's nice that DM Hub will do it for you. Also, if you suppose that he decided to use a javelin instead of uh, his, uh, his bow, and he might still want to say, okay, I can have a shield and a javelin. Uh, what what you can do is you can switch to the uh, you can switch to the javelin, uh, and now it gives us this javelin that he can throw, and it tracks that we have two we have two javelins. You'll see. So I am going to throw my javelin at this guy, um, and I hit him. Uh, I'll I'll actually just decline the roll for damage um, to save time, uh, and then it it automatically replaces the javelin with the next javelin from the inventory. So now we're down to our last javelin. It says we only have one javelin. We'll throw this javelin as well. Uh, and what's really nice now is that you'll see both these javelins have 
uh, flowing across the room. Um, and he doesn't have a javelin left. It still does keep the javelin showing up in his inventory, but it's grayed out. And this shows us that he really wants a javelin in that slot, but he doesn't have any more javelins. You could you could drag it away if you said, well, I, I don't want him to have a javelin anymore. But now what happens is we can go and we can pick up a javelin, and now he gets his, his javelin back. Um, so you can see that this is uh, hopefully quite a convenience, this, um, this whole new loadout thing, uh, and it really makes you get in the, in the mood, and you can see what everybody's, uh, ev everybody's holding really nice and very easily.